Okay, this is Jack with Gadget Factory, and we're back with part three of how to debug internal logic inside an FPGA with the Open Bench Logic Sniffer. So what we just did is um, we opened up the probe um, dialog box in the FPGA editor, and we found the sections that we're interested in. And you know, one the way you generally want to do this is, you know, I know that I'm interested in the receiver. So I'm just going to filter on receiver. Uh, I guess I probably need to spell that right. And uh, this is where you can see all the nets associated with the receiver module. And in our case, we already knew that what we were interested in was the finite state machine and that's what we looked at at the code earlier okay so I've I've mapped state 1 with pin 17 and if we go back and we look at the Papilio 1 UCF we see that that is row C pin 15 uh, then the next state is uh, P16 uh, and it just goes down from there 17, 16, 15, 12 17 all the way down to 9 and 9 is row C bit 9 so we actually have uh, we, we can add more logic and uh, let's go ahead and do that we probably would also it would probably be very useful to actually watch the RX pin as well so I'm going to search on RX we get the RX I buff and now we need to select which pin we're going to route that net out to. So we go back to our UCF file. The last thing we used was row C, pin 8, or I'm sorry, pin 9. So we're going to want to put the next one on pin 8, and uh, that's P5. So we're going to go here, select P5, move it over, select the pins, hit OK, and we've got, so now we've got eight different nets that we're monitoring. We're monitoring the seven finite uh, state machine states, and we're monitoring the RX pin. So uh, you hit route, uh, and it should come back with delays for everything. And then all you do is you hit bit gen, and choose a name for the bit file you're generating. And this is very fast. So you know it's way faster to do this to probe internal logic than it is to try and modify your source code and route you know a net out and then resynthesize because when you synthesize it takes five to ten minutes every single time you do it this takes you know 30 seconds so it's a huge huge time saver okay so we've got this new bit file uh, generated and we're gonna load it to the Papilio one okay that's all it took so it's loaded to the Papilio one and we're ready to start taking a look at the internal logic now so I'm going to first of all I'm going to bring up the the Jawi's logic analyzer client and uh, I've already labeled I've, I've already got this all set up and I've actually labeled all the different pins and uh, this is what the configuration looks like so uh, basically we're using the inside number scheme and because I connected to row C uh, bit 15 down bit 15 down to bit 8 that means we're on the second channel group uh, I've got it to the automatic recording size so we get the full 24 K of available space sampling rate at 20 we're gonna start out with a low number 20 so that we can see the whole uh, serial transfer happened uh, and then triggers we enable the trigger and um, we want to actually trigger on the wait start state because we know that that's where it sits the majority of time so that corresponds uh, you can count it yourself but uh, that corresponds with this this bit here so um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this with part four 